Hi, I'm Eleanor. And I'm Martha. And we're the student subject leaders for art at Newstead. Let us take you on a tour of our department. So here at Newstead, it's not just about painting and drawing. There's loads of other things that you can do here at the department. Um, for example, screen printing, lino printing, photography, film, pottery. Um, just a ton of really cool things that you probably didn't do at GCSE, which means you can get more experimental and develop your projects more. Oh, like David, like, I'm cool. do, you think, do you think it's still going to have that endgame look? Maybe. If it has the end game, that then, one definitely. That one does definitely. Play. If that one has the same. Oh my god, your prints are so cool! Yeah. Reflector. reflector. Oh, oh well, there yeah, we go. I'm not using the side. Oh, you're using the opposite side. Yeah. Brilliant. So that we can get a high contrast. Two classrooms that we have here in the department. However, we also have room 12 in which we can come, come in to do that to do private study and finish off our work and it's really nice because we um, it's all to um, sixth form so it's very cosy and all ours which is very nice. Moving on we've got some quick sketches. I, I just think... shoved everything on this way. This is embarrassing. What do you mean you did it? I... <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing for you. Just... Really? Because I think this page looks really well developed. <laughs> um, moving on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I even shocked myself of this. <laughs> um, so the first thing we're doing in Year 12 is doing figures in space with a focus on the human figure and gesture drawing. Um, and the first thing that we did was we did three self-portraits each an hour and we did them in different mediums to test out like our skill using different materials. Um, and I did mine in pen, like um, fine liner pen, graphite and pencil and a bit of chalk and acrylic wash paint. Um, then we moved on to drawing the whole figure, and this was a foreshort in the exercise we had to do at home, um, which was a three hour drawing of someone that we knew where, like, which showed that from the angle they're at, the feet are bigger than the head. Um, this was something else we did in class where we were studying the muscles in the body and also the tone, like on one of Rodin's Rodin? One of Rodin's Rodin. Rodin's sculptures. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we used Conte pencils in three different shades to mark out all the different tones where it, like the light fell on the muscles in the picture. Um, this was just a series of different things that we did in class. These were some gesture drawings from a video of dancers, and these were um, slightly longer drawings of screenshots from the video. Um, and again, we did some more foreshortening and studying of the muscles in like a ballerina's legs because the muscles are flexed. Um, you can see like the outlines of the muscles. Um, and here we just started learning about how to do different skin tones and made like a sheet that was helpful for us to use. Um, this was a homework that I did for the, it was like we had to do a dynamic pose. So I did this in blue, like Conte pencil. Um, and this was practicing different skin tones, portrait. I did this in acrylic wash. Um, here we were just drawing different dynamic poses from pictures using different techniques such as line drawing and using shapes and using the side of the chalk. This was the 13 minute one that I did. Um, here we were just practicing different hands and feet, like looking at different angles of how to draw them. And here's the second part of the dynamic pose homework which I did in acrylic wash. I wanted to focus on the light in this one and how it fell on like the different parts of the muscles and the clothing. Um, here was just me starting some of the negative space work and a charcoal and chalk portrait showing like where the light fell on the face and where the shadows were. Um, and I did another one of those here, but I prefer the other one. Um, and we did a little bit of research on lino printing and high contrast photos before studying uh, Kathy Colwitz and Elizabeth Catlett's lino prints and the reasons behind them and we did some um, in-depth analysis of the paintings or the prints even. 
and then these are the last things I did which is just some high contrast photography and we put them in Photoshop to um, like emphasize the contrast and make it purely black and white so we could use these as uh, pictures that we could base our lino prints on. Michaela, what are you doing? Hi, I'm cutting pieces of paper <laughs> and um, I did like a high contrast picture of Lola and okay. then on Photoshop I grayscaled the picture and then put adjustments and curves to make it like high contrast. Right, Nefemi, what are you up to? Oh, I'm just making a thumbnail of a photo of Michaela what we had to do is we went into the um, the photography slash dark room and then we took photos of people of human figure mm -hmm. and then we sent them to ourselves and now we're just using Photoshop to make it a high contrast black and white photo. Which Brilliant. Then, so is this what you're using here, Photoshop? Yeah. Lovely. Um, my favourite thing about art is how you can kind of like come to the art room and escape and like get all your work done. And we have like a really close knit community with the teachers and like the few students that are there, so it's like really like homely. Yeah. Hi, Hi I'm Natalina and I study art A level at Newstead last year and the year before. And now I'm at Arts University, which has been really good. And so I've just been asked to give you guys a short, you know, video just talking about art. A level and why it'd be really good to study it at Newstead because Newstead is a great place to study art. Um, so first off I thought I'd talk about you know what kind of stuff we did as a class um, during our A level because well most of the work is really independent and you sort of do your own thing. There are a couple of things that you do as a class and one of those things were, was um, a life drawing at the Wallace Collection which you can do twice a year um, each year, um, I think one in around December, November, and one in like January ish, and it was really, really good. Um, you have to make you know quick, um, kind of like technical drawings, um, you know, in a short amount of time of like first, um, like statues and paintings out of the collection, just studying these kind of like fine art, and then you know, yourself, um, with a model, um. It was really really good and some of the life drawing pieces that I did at those sessions I put in my portfolio when I applied to art school and that's I think probably a big reason of like how I managed to get like lots of offers because like art schools love that kind of thing and not a lot of places do um, life drawing sessions like that especially not at such frequency um, and it's for free and um, it's at such a great place as well um, so yeah that was really good and another thing that we did as a class which I believe is um, we only do like once or so, um, you get to go to Paris, um, maybe not this year, depending, um, but hopefully next or something. And the Paris trip, I went in year 12, so, um, coming up to two years ago now, still remember all of it, it was amazing. Like, we were asked to make a sketchbook as we were there, um, just observational drawing of everything we could find in, in museums. Um, on the street, our friends, like anything. And it was fantastic, like I won the competition, which was great. And and that sketchbook I also took to interviews because observational drawing is another like major part of an animation the course I'm on now and art in general. And that experience getting to go to the Rodin Museum and seeing like the incredible statues and um, sculptures and going to um, other museums and the cafes and the street and Eiffel Tower. It was amazing and yeah we're, we're not ever gonna forget it because it was really really good and in year 12 when the class was still just new it was incredible to go and just you know have all of that fun together. Um, and then also in year 13 my class went to Margate and that was also incredible. We went to the um, what's it called? Um, we went to several museums <laughs> and once again the art was amazing. Observational drawings was like highly encouraged but we also had like projects based around it. The year 12 was more did these projects because in year 13 we didn't really have the time. But it was amazing. And so like those experiences, um, which you would only really get in Newstead, 
been really big help in you know developing my art and developing my portfolio which is good for university um and then also away from that just in terms of like the projects we did um in both uh, like the exam work projects and the mock exam projects and the independent projects which we did more in year 12 amazing like i it gives you a great opportunity to sort of expand your repertoire and your I don't know your skill range of skills um because you because especially with um like the, the little projects you get in year 12 you get to you know completely experiment with as many medias as you can think of and many different styles or whatever and having that range super good for universities and then if you want to you know apply for several different courses or anything like that or you start changing your mind you have like stuff available that you can show an interviewer and even if it's not something you thought you would do because you experimented so much you'll have that all to hand which was really good mm, yeah so like when i was in my interview um stuff that the interviewers like really appreciated was like my range of things my development of ideas which is like super emphasized and you said really emphasized like development sketchbook development note taking um visual development they really loved that and they really loved life drawing and they really loved experimentation and trying out new things and all three things are like massive um emphasis at massive focuses focus massive focus points at new stood but to be honest she she still had it out with yeah. yeah isn't it cool that he's just chilling no one knows who he is. I think people do. Do we? I I've oh, some people do. I mean, well, obviously, I yeah, like relatives and stuff. General like public. Yeah. Like, isn't he like the mystery world? Can't someone just like see him? Like That's when he's doing no, it? No, the thing is, there are pictures of him literally doing it, but he's like, no, they're in photos. His name is Robin Gunningham. Wait, what? Oh. Robin Gunningham. <laughs> Robin, yeah, there's pictures of his face. Oh, is yes, there? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, she said for you reimagining alternative history counter waving theory. I don't know. Yeah. As in that's what she does. Yeah. Well I remember looking at her work and not quite thinking that. Oh uh, well commonly believed to be oh, Robin uh, Gunningham. How do I start this? My favourite thing. Yeah, about literally my favourite thing. My favourite thing about the art department is how nice the teachers are and how close community it is because you really, like, it's a small group, you all know each other, you're all talking to each other, and it's not like maths teachers, like, the teachers are a lot less strict. Not strict, they're still strict, <laughs> but, like, you know, they're a little bit more entertaining. So, yeah. You're even humming as well. Um, my favourite thing about the art department are definitely the facilities because there is a lot of things available, especially for year 12 and year 13, since we are the priority. It's trips because um, this year we unfortunately didn't get to do a lot, but we had um, our Margate trip in the past, which served as inspiration for our project in year 12. And we had the Wallace collection, which um, allowed us to do life drawings, which was very, which was a very fun experience. And um, hopefully for you guys, if you come to the, um, if you come to our school, you will get to probably go to Italy and other cool trips abroad for art. All of the work that I put into my portfolio, so I can give you an idea of um, what you'll be doing during A level, and also like the interviewers really like this, so what kind of stuff would be good, you know, for a portfolio.